you want to build a bustling storefront or a cozy pop-up shop, integrating a good POS can revolutionize your business. Fun fact, retail stores using a modern point of sale system can boost their sales by up to 30%. So say hello to Shopify's point of sale system. Shopify POS has powerful software, cutting edge hardware, 24 seven support, and low fees. But the biggest feature is its seamless integration into the website that you have just built. If you sell in person or online, it updates your sales, orders, inventory, and shipping all in the same place. I'm about to show you not only how to set up your Shopify POS, but also how to customize it and make sure it's tailored to your unique business needs. Let's go make some in-person sales. So first, download the Shopify POS app in the Shopify App Store. You will have the option to choose between POS Lite to cover basic retail needs and POS Pro with more advanced features, including automatic discounts, multi-store management, and a lot more cool features. You really can't go wrong with either one. Plus, you can always upgrade when you need to. A little quote about selling in store from Steve Jobs. Get closer than ever to your customer, so close that you tell them what they need well before they realize it themselves. Next, you'll need to set up Shopify payments. Before setting it up, you need to make sure that your store is eligible. Shopify payments is only available in certain countries. First, go to settings in your Shopify admin and under store currency, choose the currency you want for your store, then click save. Your store currency can be different from your bank account. For example, your store may be located in Europe, but most of your customers are in the US. This won't be true for physical stores, but it's good to keep in mind when choosing your store currency. If you need to change your currency after making your first sale, you may need to contact support to help you out. Next, you can add your bank account, payment methods, and payment capture methods under the payments section. Now set up a payment provider if you haven't already. Then click on set up payments, and click complete account setup. Next, enter your business, tax, banking, and personal info. You may be asked to submit extra documents to confirm your identity, and confirmation can take up to three days. Now it's time to order your hardware. It's like a gift that you get to give yourself for starting your entrepreneurial journey. And once your hardware arrives, you're gonna need to set it up. There are several POS hardware options to choose from. You can go with the countertop kit, the POS Go, cash drawers, receipt printers, barcode printers, and a lot more fun stuff. Now, let's get your sales tax information set up. You have to add in your country, your province or state, and your tax code. Something really cool is that you can also assign roles and permissions to your staff with a unique four to six digit pin. This is gonna help you streamline your operations. To do this, go to Streamline In-Store Operations with POS Pro. Then click Expand Guide and then click Add POS Staff. Here you can change staff permissions, but make sure to turn on discounts and custom smart grid permissions. This way they have the ability to make customizations to the smart grid. This feature will really come in handy. With Pro, you can use Shopify's built-in code editor to personalize your sales process from scratch. Now, to make custom receipts, go to settings and then receipt customization. Here you can add your store logo. It has to be JPEG or PNG, and the right size is 400 pixels by 200 pixels. You can change the printing options and add a custom header or custom footnote. You can also select your barcode type. You can do 1D or 2D, which looks like a QR code. Once you're feeling awesome about your customization, just click save. You can choose to save it for all your retail locations or just add it to one. With return rules, you can automate return management in store. With these steps, you'll not only enhance efficiency and customer satisfaction, but also unlock unparalleled growth potential for your retail operations. Now let's talk about the smart grid layout. You can create and manage multiple smart grid layouts in the Shopify admin. This is super helpful if you want multiple locations to have the same grid layout. To create a smart grid layout, go to point of sale, then settings. In the general section, click smart grid, then click create new. And in the preview section, select customize. This will open the infamous Smart Grid Editor. To add a page to the grid, click Add Page Tile, and if you wanna rearrange the tiles, just click on the thing with the six dots and drag it up and down the list. You can use the same method to move the tiles around. 
If you want to make edits to your tiles, click the tile name and then select the color that you would like from the color menu. If you want to remove a tile or a page, just click on the trash bin. Now you get to give your smart grid layout a name. You can choose to set it to default for all new locations, but if you only want to assign it to a specific location, click edit in the location section and then select the POS locations that you want to have this layout for. Lastly, here is how you can get data on who your customers are. Go to POS channel setting, then customer receipt selection, and toggle this on so you can collect buyer emails. You never want to miss out on a chance to get data. You can also change your required checkout information to gather emails by going into settings in your admin, then checkout. In the customer contact method section, you can make the changes you would like and then click save. Now you are all set up for selling in store. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We know your time is the most valuable commodity that you have. So we feel very honored to be a part of your business journey. Learn with Shopify is full of business tips and tricks. Everything from ads to sales to AI tools, we've got you covered. So subscribe to stay up to date on our weekly videos and please leave a like and comment below if this video helped you out. We will see you on the next one. Bye.